It is time for Hometown Spotlight. Each week, 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli and photographer Ryan, they head out to a new city in the Carolinas. And they go out and find what makes these places so special. They're live now from Columbus. Christine Scarpelli got the folks up early once again. Hey, Christine. Hey, guys. Good morning. Absolutely. Yes, we love this. Hometown Spotlight Columbus has so much to offer. We are in the first really, really interesting spot. We're inside. Guys, outside it's raining and it's it's cold, like Malachi is saying this morning. And um, I'm glad to be inside, but also inside the House of Flags. This is the only House of Flags in the country. Many people may be watching this morning and going, what in the world is a House of Flags? Uh, Robert Williamson here this morning, the curator, museum director. Tell Good us, morning. where in the world are we for someone that's never been here? Well, we're in Columbus, North Carolina, it's the only house flag museum in America. We have 300 authentic reproduction flags on display in our four rooms. Okay. And we use the flags to teach history, the history of the United States in different eras, from the birth of a nation to defenders of freedom. We're in the Price of Liberty room, which picks up with the War of 1812. Then we've got the USA room that has all 27 official U.S. flags. I love that. And there's a really special one above oh, you yeah. here. Can we start there? This, this is probably one of the most interesting flags in our history. We call it the Star Spangled Banner, but, but it's the flag that Francis Scott Key saw in Fort McHenry on September 14, 1814, during the War of 1812. At dawn's early light, he saw this flag. It is the only flag in our history that has more than 13 stripes. Only one? Only one. Wow. There are 15 stars for 15 states, and there are 15 stripes for 15 states. And so after this, this you said there are some rules. After this, you yes. know, Congress said... In 1912, they codified the flag and said, you know, no we're going to have sizes and proportions. Wow. But they actually went back to 13 stripes in 1818 when Congress said, you know, we've got 20 states, we could have 20 stripes. Wow. Had they not acted on that in 1818, we would have a flag today with 50 stars and 50 stripes. And in about 10 seconds, real quick, can you just describe why you're holding this? Is, this? this is the first symbol of freedom. The first flag of freedom is the Liberty Cap. The Smurf hat. The Smurf hat, Papa Smurf, yeah. I love and this it. this Liberty Cap started the Sons of Liberty in 1763. Wonderful. It's on the North Carolina State Seal. It's on the New York, New Jersey flag. It's on the United States Army flag. It's the flag of the United States Senate, so Idaho, West Virginia. This is the Liberty Cap. And You'll Liberty recognize Pole. this, guys. This is so neat on so many different flags. Just this as a flag. Guys, we've got so much coming up this morning. Please, please come back with us. Back to you. We will because, well, we have to be here. But hopefully <laughs> people at home, they'll stay tuned for more. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> 452 still to come on Daybreak.